Okay, so we've made our way over the Columbia River. We're on the Washington side now. And we're just outside of Goldendale where we're gonna go and have a cooking demonstration at the Glass Onion. This is really interesting because where we were earlier, White River Falls, that is how they powered energy back in 1902 um, for both Defer and the Dalles, powered all that energy for a flour mill as well. And now today in 2012, almost 2013, this is our alternative energy. And it's just beautiful to watch. Hi, my name is Matt McGowan. I'm the chef owner of the Glass Onion Restaurant and Gallery in Goldendale, Washington. So we'll start off with a hickory smoked uh, pork shoulder pizza. Yeah, the pig came off the barbecue, looking really nice. So we're gonna degas the center. We kind of do a pseudo New Haven, New York style, kind of East Coast uh, style crust and pizza here. Uh, not particularly thin, but not that thick. Do it slightly different. We slice cheese and we put it on the bottom. It kind of insulates the crust from the pizza sauce and keeps it as crisp as possible for as long as possible. Slightly fiddly, but we think the results are worth it. Real simple sauce, doesn't have anything but tomatoes, a little bit of salt, a little bit of oregano. This is the hickory smoked pork shoulder. It takes about seven hours for it to smoke and finish. Some pepper dew peppers, real sweet, slightly hot, more tart than anything else, and some green onions. Some uh, Reggiano Parmesan, and some cherry sized fresh mozz. Extra virgin. Chili's Espelette, it's just a French, mild, kind of slightly sweet chili, a little bit of heat. Oh, this is about 625 degrees. Arancinis, they're like Sicilian sweet food. They're fried risotto balls. Just a small amount of cooked risotto that's already cooled. Uh, mozzarella, Munster, any kind of cheese that you want to put in here. And then just uh, wrap it around. These are really simple to do. Um, only thing difficult is uh, frying on your stovetop. And a little bit of panko or breadcrumbs, whatever you have. I've traveled somewhat in Europe. Um, I would like to do quite a bit more, but obviously I'm changing the stove quite often. Um, it was very interesting to go there because I kind of was uh, cut my teeth in French restaurants and was classically trained. And to go to Italy um, and see some of the street food executed with such high quality ingredients at you know a high level by little known as out, out in the street, even just um, roasting chestnuts on the corner give me a little paper bag full of chestnuts. The technique was there and it was, uh, it was nice to see that food doesn't have to be so fussy and doesn't have to be so uh, intricate. It's take about uh, four minutes. If you're gonna do these at your house, just get a little oil on the stove top. It doesn't have to be deep fried. Um, 340, 360 degrees. Um, and just flip them over when they're ready. Some braised late summer vegetables here. Parmesan, chilies escalettes. Now we're gonna make a beet salad with goat cheese. So these are just gold beets. They've uh, been uh, boiled until they're tender with uh, pickling spice. 
sugar or salt. Uh, gives them a little bit of extra flavor. You can cut them into discs or this particular shape works for the plates that we have. We try to cook within the seasons as much as possible. Um, of whatever kind of uh, design you would like here. A little bit of farmhouse chef, just, just tough goat cheese. I believe this is a Northern California product. Some candy walnuts. A little bit of sherry vinaigrette. The acidity of vinaigrette cuts through the earthiness of the of the beets pretty effectively.